If you're still watching and wondering how all of this just happened and what just happened, this is for you, this section of the video. All we're doing in this video is taking a shot that I took overhead of a record playing on a record player, and we're matching the rotation of the video clip to the rotation of the record. That's all there is. And that means in Final Cut Pro, the video editing, I can turn it on and off. Here it is looking off. Boom. We're stable as a table. And really, in actuality, the entirety of this moving shot, we never move at all. The camera is completely static, overhead, fixed to a tripod, practically immovable, unless I really wanted to move it. So, and when you got the shot of Princess Leia here, little micro machines, it's the same thing. I just pushed a little bit closer in and corrected so that it was always the Leia coming around every 360 degrees, looking at the same angle, and boom! She's always upright. It's pretty straightforward. Here's the same shot. This one was, was trickier to do, because for some of the parts, the, the record label that I used as kind of a witness mark to keep adjusting in Final Cut was occluded by the record cover. So that made it tricky for me to do. This is an awesome album, by the way. Ship to Shore. Phono Company is the company that sells this album. The music is from a video game that is amazing. In Japan, it's called Mother 2. In America, it's called Earthbound. Either way you play it, you're going to have a nice music experience, as well as a stellar game. So here I am pretending to be very disoriented. After all that spinning, I had obviously just done, even though me, sitting on the floor, did not really spin at all. Well, I did. The earth is spinning. I did not spin relative to the camera. We were both spinning at the same rate, the camera and I. So that's good. But I still got to act kind of dizzy on the way out. Never did anything with that big boggle game. That's okay. Those are squares.